Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Daniel Mayan back with another video for you. All right, so I'm gonna try to make this quick, so that means it's only gonna take four hours. <laughs> um, basically, if you're low vision and you use the Microsoft Magnifier in Windows 10, in any platform lower than Microsoft, oh crap, what is the newest one? XP5 or three, excuse me, 365. That sounds bad. I'm not editing this. The information's correct. Just, just go with it or don't. I don't care at this point. So if using any platform lower than Microsoft 365, the magnifier will crash your Excel. You will not be able to use Excel past using one cell, which you can't save anyways. Um, so basically the only fix, if you're using Microsoft Magnifier and Microsoft Excel, again, I'm gonna repeat that. If you're using Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Magnifier, they don't work together in any platform in Windows 10. So that's important in Windows 10 other than in 365. Supposedly they work in Microsoft Office 2019, which I've not heard of until recently, but that's a whole nother story and I cannot confirm that. But I've been using Microsoft or yeah, Microsoft. So Windows 10, Microsoft, Microsoft. I've been using Microsoft Magnifier for more than 10 years, and it was really upsetting. I do accounting. I'm an accountant. Uh, I need the magnifier as I'm legally blind. Um, Microsoft is aware of the issue. They're not going to fix it. They don't care. Just buy the new one. You know. So basically, your only options are either to upgrade to Microsoft 365, or you can pay a ton of money. Uh, to get the Zoom program, which they do now have an annual membership, but it's still pretty expensive. You have to see what the options are uh, when you're and what your availability is. But, you know, it kind of sucks. I don't want to go into a huge rant about how unfair it is. Uh, I think that's it's kind of obvious, but how did I come to this conclusion, right? So let's get to that point. So the tech at my company, the IT guy, did a lot of work to just to figure out that it was Microsoft Magnifier closing or crashing Excel, right? So he reinstalled Windows like more than once, did all these updates and all of this, uh, did repairs to Microsoft Office package by itself. He reinstalled Microsoft Office many times, different versions, newer versions, older versions. It, it none of it worked um, he even put in a new uh, a new hard drive into the computer and then he figured out and like wait it's your magnifier that's doing this and I was like no way so I did some research and at that time you could turn off all the options except for the magnifier to follow the mouse cursor only so <laughs> So for almost a year now, I've been using it just with pretty much all the options turned off. And I got sick of it and it was so hard to use. And I've been using it for, for more than a decade and it was like, oh, I need to use it, you know? So I did, um, I did as much research as I could watching YouTube videos and stuff. I did repairs. Again, I had to probably do a lot of the same stuff you already did, right? I did repairs directly to uh, Microsoft Office program. Um, like you go to add or remove, right click and you do a repair, you know, fix it or whatever. I mean, they may not be the exact steps, but basically that. Um, I did all these updates to Windows or actually I contacted a friend through YouTube that sh her channel, she was like, well, I thought they fixed that already. So try doing the updates or, uh, or contact Microsoft Accessibility, which honestly guys, I didn't know there was a way to contact Microsoft Accessibility, although it was a waste of time anyways. But <laughs> um, so I did the updates really hopeful, you know, I was like, yeah, she said it was fixed and uh, and I appreciate her, her advice. This is not no disrespect to her. I, 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 it, it, her advice led me to where I got, where I am now, where I can share the information with you. So, <laughs> um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Or I lost my thought of train. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is interactive. This would be a little easier. Maybe I'll try to, I'm not editing anything though. Let's see. Um, replace the hard drive right so then I started doing as much stuff as I could so when I did the Microsoft Windows updates guess what now I could not use magnifier with Excel at all even with only that one option it was unusable I actually even tried turning all the options off which of course makes magnifier unusable 
but you know, I took off everything, the follow the mouse cursor or follow the mouse, follow an insertion point, um, follow where you type, and I don't need the narrator one, but that was, yeah, I turned those off and it still would crash. <laughs> it would still crash Excel, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> trying to switch hands here. Um, it still crashed Excel. So I decided, well, let me try this Microsoft accessibility. <sighs> I called them. I spent over two hours on the phone with a, a sounded like a young Indian woman from India. Oh my goodness, yes, she was definitely in India. It sounded very much like I was talking to a ghost. There were some weird noises in the background, like, <sighs> and I was thinking, am I, am I talking to a ghost or a spirit? What is all these weird noises? But I start out the phone call saying that this is a known problem. Um, the only way to fix it is to turn off all the options, right? So she totally ignored that, had me doing all the same stuff that I had already done, plus a few other things that were kind of cool that I learned, but basically the same. And I was like, look, the tech, I wouldn't give remote access. I can do it. I'm capable. So I did it. Um, she was respectful. Uh, she talked really slowly, not in a mocking way, but I, I'm guessing a lot of people with visual disabilities or they're just trained just to talk you know when they give the information kind of slowly so like the numbers would be like five one <laughs> I get it it's painful I can't speak that bad slowly um, but basically after two hours on the phone doing this stuff she finally admits like oh they're telling me this and that and whatever so they finally admit that there is no fix for it. For, no, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Before that happens, she tells me to turn off, she, she, in this very long way, to turn off all the options. I'm like, wait, 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 remember when I first called you? That is what I told you I've been doing. You know, and she was like, she didn't say, oh, but you could kind of hear the pause, like, kind of like, oh yeah, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, and then basically says that they're, you know, they can't send me to a higher tech because I'm not giving a remote access and blah, 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 which is, not surprising um, at all, right? So I, I honestly didn't expect much, but then they finally admit, finally, 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 finally admit that there is no fix for it. There's not gonna be one. I can go to this website, the Microsoft whatever, and, and complain about it, which I went, and there was, the complaint was there. It was already, there was six votes. And this general information from Microsoft saying, you know, we need more information or do updates or something and somebody else saying like, try reinstalling it, you know, and it's just, it's frustrating that it's, so it was already there, which they still haven't fixed it. So they admitted they're not going to fix it. They're not going to fix it. And the Microsoft magnifier will not work with Excel in any platform of a Microsoft Office other than Microsoft Office 2019, which I'd never heard of and Microsoft 365. So they finally admit that, which if I didn't have, and I'm not technically great, right? But if I don't have the, the go to, the stick to itness, the technical proficiency that I do have, I would have not arrived to that answer. They'd been like, well, you know, your updates didn't work, you know, try reinstalling. She actually even tried to hang up on me at one point. You know, I said, no, 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 this computer's fast, just hold on. You're like, oh, we'll call you back. No, 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 no. And then at the end, didn't really want to give me any information. I'm like, whoa, 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 hold on here. I stayed on the phone for two hours with you going over this stuff that I knew wasn't going to work. So just let me get the information, and she did. Um, but it's basically a waste of time. So if your Excel's crashing and your low vision, it's the magnifier. So to give you some more information, so I was using Windows 10, the, the newest version of Windows 10, um, uh, the Microsoft magnifier, again, both Microsoft programs, and Microsoft Office 2016, Pro Plus, which is like the top of the line version. And I don't think there was a 2019 at the time when we downloaded this. And it was like the newest and it's, you know, it was maybe in 2018. Uh, I don't think it was even that long. It might have been in 2019, I'm, but it, it, I've been doing this for almost a year now, just using that one option. And uh, I'm really grateful in the end from all the research I did, my persistence, the persistence of the tech and the final admission uh, from the Microsoft quote unquote accessibility people um, and how to fix it, right? So and I, I realized I need to either buy Zoom text or update to upgrade, upgrade to 365, which worked. So now, I mean, the, the cell, I use the docked version at the top, the docked version of the magnifier, 
And so now when you click through the cells, it, it does what it's supposed to do. It follows, you can type, it doesn't kick you out. Uh, you can press enter, go to the next cell and keep working, you know, which is what I need to do. It's my job and uh, even sometimes my hobby. So that's it. That's my information plus rant and uh, release of information. So um, I, I hope this helped you. If you're, if you're experiencing the problem, you know, again, if you're low vision, you're experiencing being kicked out of Excel, that's why, you know, you need, uh, <laughs> you need Office 365, you know, uh, or to, to buy, or, you know, figure out, we're pretty resourceful blind people, so, and visually impaired people, so um, that's it. I hope this helps. I've uh, been meaning to do this video for about a week and just kept putting it off, so I did it. All right, you're welcome. <laughs>